Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 11 and the final part of this SS France tutorial. Uh, today's focus is a, <laughs> a basic bulbous bow, uh, a pool on the stern and the rest is basically handrails. Uh, not a huge amount to do, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head down to the bow and build the bulbous bow. Now this isn't my design, this is what someone else done. I won't mention their name, but they know who they are. Um, and it's I've already done a, a quick uh, prototype. This it doesn't it's not perfect, but you know it, it might do for the job. Uh, so basically, what you want to do is uh, on the tip of the bow, on the red section below, uh, on the straight part going vertical, you want to go to the third block up. So one, two, three blocks up, and build six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. S piss. <laughs> How many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, like that. So it's six like that. So you get a, a very subtle bulge in the bow. And then the next row along, you do the same. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the next row along, you do the same. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a basic bulge. And then what you want to do, the next row along, you go to the fourth block up. One, two, three, four. And then you add. Uh, four blocks in one, two, three, four. So, uh, so the next row along here, you do the fourth block up and you add four blocks. Same on the next two rows, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there's a subtle bulge which changes shape. And then the next row, next th uh, two rows, you add two. So about uh, sixth block up or fourth block up, I can't remember. But it's basically, it's the center point of every row. So one, two, and one, two. So you can sort of see. The rows get shorter as you go along. Now it's a basic shape; it's not perfect, and uh, I'll probably get a lot of criticism. But remember, it's not my design, so don't blame me. But uh, I don't want to—I don't want to drag any names through the mud. So um, there we go. So that's a basic bulbous bow, and I could redesign it into a more pronounced bulbous bow, but I, I can't be bothered with it. Uh, maybe something later on if I do a conversion, but we'll see. So I just do the same on the other side. I'll add the uh, the rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the four. Is it three rows or four? Or is it two? Uh, three. That's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the twos. Two. And then two. So there we go. That's the. Uh, basic yet slightly effective bulbous bow. Uh, it's kind of more of a, a zit rather than a bulbous bow, but uh, there we go. So there we go. keep saying there we go, but never mind. Um, so that's the uh, bulbous bow out of the way. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to head down to the stern. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> head down to the stern. And there's a large pool that goes on the main... Well, it's not the main deck, but it's the deck. It's the, it's the large area on the stern, which is one deck up from the uh, main deck. So the main deck, which is down here, which is level with the black section of the hull. Go up one deck, and you've got this area here. Now, also, I haven't added the windows yet. These windows to these back walls, I'm still not added. So I can do that in a moment. And I've also not added the side panel there, but that's not a big issue. Right, now for this pool, it's a basic size swimming pool. Well, I say basic size, basic shape swimming pool. So you've got the back wall here of this deck, and you're going to count about 10 forward. So on the wood, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we start cutting a whole another pool. You can make it any length, any width, any size you want, but I'm going to make it about I don't know seven wide. So one, two, three, either side, two, three, and the sides are say about ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm. 12, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So make it 16, just to make it a bit bigger. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then we cut the hole. So that's the basic shape of the pool. We've got plenty of space around it as well, so not a big issue. So I just uh, get rid of these. Oh, bloody hell. Just to get rid of that section there. So once you've uh, removed all the wood in the middle there. You can uh, start adding the uh, shape of the pool. And if you want the pool to be square, then build it like this. You know, just build the inside square as so uh, <coughs> as shown. So it's basically just the rim of the pool. 
So that's the shape of the pool if you want to make it square. If you want to make it a bit more curvy, put a block there and a block there and replace these blocks here with the wood blocks, uh, which I don't have. Uh, that one and that one. And the same over here. Corner, corner. Wood block, wood block. So you're going to have this, the pool shape like that. And then for the for the uh, bottom of the pool, depending how deep you want the pool, uh, usually go for two blocks. So if you build it down, two blocks, uh, and then just, well, just basically just build the wall or the rim down two blocks. Oh, too far. Yeah, it all depends on uh, it's all personal preference. I mean, I'm just giving it a rough design. Probably the weakest point of this tutorial. <laughs> Remember, this part of the video, this part of the tutorial is just tidying up and finishing off. And there we go. That's the depth of your pool, and then you just add the floor. There you go, that's your pool all done. You can add some detail around it, but it's up to you. You can sort of add slabs around from find uh, quartz slabs. And sort of put them around the edge. Make the pool a bit more uh, pronounced. But like I said, uh, all personal preference. I'm just doing a simple lazy job if you want. I won't bother filling it with water, but you know, you know what it is. You can make it wider as well. I mean, it does look quite narrow for what it is, but you can make it as wide as, or as as this deep as you want. So it's up to you what you want to do. That's just a basic, a basic what's whatsoever it is. Right. So now the next job you want to do is basically all handrails. Um, but first, one more job to do is just to add on the top of the black blocks on top wall, well, top of the black hull on the stern. What we're going to do is just add white blocks to the top of the black section all the way around the stern just to uh, create a wall so you don't fall off it's just the last piece of trim basically so all the way around the stern there we go that's that all done and you can probably add a pool onto this deck as well if you want, but it's up to you. Um, and what we can do on the stern now, down here on this deck, is to add the windows. So basically, windows two blocks high, sort of spaced by a single block if you like. Uh, and maybe the middle block, we can put a door in, say put a door in there and a door in there. I haven't got door selected, which is always the case. Let's put a door there and a door, the door there. Get rid of the centre block as well now, and then just put all the windows in. I think that's the way I put them in, and that looks pretty much fine there than that. Uh, so the same on the next deck. A random placement of windows, there's nothing really specific you need to do. So I just put I put a door here and put a window there and then a couple of windows on the sides. And then put a door in again. I'm just so like I say I'm just doing it randomly, I'm not following any specific design. But yeah, you know, it's just finishing off something that I forgot to do. Um, and where did I put the door? I put the door there, I think. Was it? Was it there? No, I put the door over here. Let's put the door there. And the window. There. Right, so that's that wall all done as well. So, 
it's looking a bit more fuller now, we've got a bit more detail. Alright, so now the last job really is to add the handrails. Now this is sort of idiot proof and self explanatory. Use your iron bars and any open surface where there's going to be a place where you can fall off, just basically add a handrail. So we'll go over to this corner here. So we're on the stern deck with a pool. We just add a handrail all the way around the edge. And this is what's going to take most of the time. So if you want to speed this up, you can, but it's basically handrails all the way around. And it should just sort of complete the design, really. It's it's, it's basically more, mo mainly cosmetic, but it's it's not. A, it's, it just makes it look a bit better. Right, so that's that uh, deck all done. So same for the next deck above. Uh, this is a bit more tricky because I haven't got the trim, uh, the uh, diagonal wall down there on that side. But uh, we'll uh, I'll improvise around it. So we'll just add the uh, handrails around this side. Get out to the side, so basically end the end the wall where the where the wall should be, because I haven't built it yet. But uh, you get the rough idea on what I'm trying to explain. <laughs> so uh, that's that side. And then the same for the next deck above. So we go uh, to the back of the uh, deck house here, because you don't really need a handrail all the way along there, but uh, you can if you want. So I just go from this corner here and we'll add the handrails out to the sides on the boat deck. And then down the sides, along the boat deck, up to the davits. Now you can add the handrails between the davits as well so you don't fall off. So it does make it a bit more safety uh, conscious if you're into that sort of thing. So just add the handrails all the way along underneath the uh, boat deck. It's going to take a while because it's uh, such a long deck but uh, we'll, we'll do it anyway. I missed one. So this video is, is basically just me placing handrails and talking when I do it. So uh, if you want to avoid this video, then by all means, it's, like I said, it's self-explanatory. Uh, but I will explain a bit more about the next project uh, at the end of the video. So if you want to stay tuned for that, then by all means. Um, I want to say the next project isn't really much because I haven't really got anything more to do this year. Um, but uh, we'll see. So I just add the handrails up to forward point of the bridge there. That's your handrails all the way along the side of the boat deck. And we'll do the same on the next deck above. So um, from the uh, back of the bridge wings, we add the handrails along the side there. So I think the best thing for me to do is basically just do this side and then jump cut to the other side. So save a bit of time. So I just add the handrails all along this side. Oh, shit. All the way along this side. Without doing any damage, which is always handy. So that's that bit done. Just head down to the other side and other half of the uh, deck house and do the same again. That's that side down, just do across the back. Like so. Um, actually, I think I'd do it all. Save, it saves me uh, fart assing about. I don't really want to do any jump cuts. Gives me more time to talk. So, um, we'll just uh, carry on filling in the rest of the uh, handrails. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about uh, future projects. Now, um, I, I did say in the, I think in the previous video or the video before that about the SS Norway, which is basically this ship uh, in its future guise, because the ship was sold on, and then I think I don't know if it was renamed a couple of times or it just became SS Norway. I'm not particularly sure. Um, but uh, I did say if you want me to build it, I will build it, and I probably will now. Um, 
I haven't done full research on what the changes need to be, but I've got plenty of time to do that because it won't be um, as today is was it the 8th of December. I'm not going to do any more tutorials this side of Christmas and this this side of the new year. So the next tutorial will be in 2017. Um, but I'm not really sure what the next tutorial is going to be. I'm not going to do the SS Norway straight away. I want to do another ship before then, so it may be uh, the Canberra, which has been requested a couple of times, and also the Californian as well, which is, uh, the sh uh, if people are aware, it's the ship that uh, sort of stood still, or apparently stood still, allegedly stood still when Titanic was sinking. Um, I'm going to say it, it was the ship, but uh, the Californian is the ship that was apparently that, that ship. So, um... The uh, the Californian is on the list, so Canberra and Californian are on the list. Um, I get plenty of requests for Poseidon as well, but I don't really want to do that one because I never get a, f a full answer on what uh, version they want. I mean, the the, uh, the 70s version, of course, is the Queen Mary, so it's basically the Queen Mary turned upside down. Uh, well, <laughs> not to begin with, of course, but uh, if, you want the, if you want to build the original Poseidon, then just use the Queen Mary tutorial and update it as and where you want. Uh, the the later Poseidon, which I think was 2006, I don't really want to build that one because it's it's a modern cruise ship, and I'm trying to avoid as much as I can the modern cruise ships. I mean, like people always asking me to do uh, Allure of the Seas, Oasis of the Seas, and ships like that. They're just too big, uh, f you know, f a tutorial really for for me to do because a you got all the detail and design, and then you got to try and interpret that into a tutorial, uh, an idiot-proof tutorial as well. You know, sort of. Uh, a tutorial that uh, everyone could understand. And it's, it's impossible for me to do something like that. I know I'm making excuses, but uh, I don't really want to get into, involved in something that uh, is just going to take so much time. So, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm just, just moving up to the next deck now. So we're just above uh, the top superstructure, just below the uh, funnels, actually. So I'll just do this superstructure here, but uh, uh, just to move on to that. But, uh, yeah, I don't really want to get involved too much in the modern cruise ships. I know Queen Mary and Queen, well, Queen Mary 2 was an exception, but uh, that's something I wanted to do um, for a long time, actually, and uh, I achieved it quite well. Not a particularly, uh, you know, a particularly um, popular tutorial. I mean, it's sort of fallen on the wayside with the, the views and that, but... Uh, it's there if you're interested, um, but yeah, it's, it's the modern ships I'm trying to avoid. Also, naval ships as well. I mean, uh, I I tried my hand at uh, 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 an aircraft carrier and it didn't turn out all that well, so I'm just avoiding uh, that. And plus, there are other people who do them anyway. I mean, uh, the main man, uh, or well, the two main men I know, that Master Jam and uh, um, Jag Thunder. I mean, they're the two people who uh, pretty much build the best. Ba uh, or battleships, warships, aircraft carriers, whatever. So they're probably the best people uh, qualified for the uh, for the tutorials on uh, warships. So uh, they're, they're the ones I leave to uh, do all those sorts of things. But uh, yeah, I just stick to cargo ships, uh, ferries, tugs, ocean liners, older cruise ships. You know, I can still do cruise ships, but just not the modern ones. So. Um, just something I'm avoiding. Plus, these, these modern ships are ugly as hell, aren't they? I mean, there's no real character to them. They're basically a hotel with a pointed end at one end and a stubby end at the back, and uh, they're cast off as ships, but uh, hey ho, there you go. That's probably me just wandering around Southampton docks too often and complaining about these things. Um, yeah, that's just my excuse anyway. I don't really want to get involved too much. I just want to stick to the, the smaller ships. Um, and all things like that. I may come back and redo Titanic as well. I don't really want to do another Titanic video. I mean, uh, I did a tutorial in 2012 and I did a remake of that tutorial in 2014 and still a lot of people are complaining that it's not accurate. I know at the time it was uh, it was inaccurate, but um, uh, you can't please everybody. But some a lot of people are uh, taking, um, uh, taking a shine to it. But uh, hey, hey, there we go. But there are other people who have done Titanic tutorials as well. I mean, Jag Thunder's done a pretty good tutorial on the Titanic as well. A lot more in depth in explaining things as well, and more in depth on the hull. Um, so if you want to check that one out, by all means do so. And uh, also, I think it's is it DNZ Turbos or DNS Turbos? I can't remember. Um, it's the uh, the Liverpudlian guy anyway. That's the Scouser guy who's doing the uh, a Titanic tutorial at the moment. 
So if you want to check his one out as well, he just just started on the bow. What is one? I think uh, yep, he uploaded his first video about uh, two days ago. So uh, he's just getting started in this Titanic tutorial. So if you want to check that one out, then by all means. Um, so I'm not really that uh, bothered about doing a Titanic tutorial. I mean, every, I mean everybody's going to be doing it soon, so not a big issue there. Um, so what else is there? There was oh, yeah, there's um, I did a tutorial on the Flying Scotsman as well, the, the uh, steam locomotive. Uh, I think I did it either late last year or early this year, but I can't remember when it was. But uh, I don't know if I did any follow-ups to it, so um, I may go back and uh, either redo that, do the full tutorial, or just add to it because I, I missed out. Well, I didn't, I didn't say miss out, but I didn't bother doing any uh, coaches or rolling stock added to it. So I may go back and. Um, uh, go back and do that, so we'll see. But uh, like I said, there'll be no more tutorials this side of Christmas or this side of New Year. So um, there will be more videos. I will upload a few more videos, just not tutorial ones. Uh, I may do a preview video, things like that. But uh, I haven't got any completed ships uh, to do as of yet, or any completed ships to show off. So um, I may just go back and, and start cracking on with the uh, the next project. Um, ready for the new year but uh, we'll see um, so yeah the, the new videos if I do do any more videos it'll probably be uh, transport fever or from the depths or some me prattling about on multi multiplayer with uh, Adzi uh, if you want to check out his channel as well it's Adzi I can't remember if it's Adzi 2010 or Adzi yeah I think it's Adzi 2010 he just recently uh, restarted his, his uh, YouTube channel and uh, it's full of uh, from the depths tutorials and a couple of uh, Euro Truck Simulator videos. He seems pretty proud of, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> that is up to him. Um, so if you want to check his channel out, by all means, do so as well. He's the guy I do multiplayer with. If I ever do any multiplayer videos, it's usually just us two falling around and playing games really badly. Uh, usually from the depths, but sometimes it's uh, we just got started on. Uh, the, some of some of these cheap Steam games you can get, like uh, Bob Was Hungry or Terrahedron. That's quite a good game, actually, Terrahedron. Um, frustrating, but uh, it's a laugh. Uh, well, not really a laugh. I think Bob's Bob Was Hungry was uh, was more of a laugh, really. But uh, may may have to do a video on that one. Um, there's not really much else I can say at the moment, but uh, hey ho, there we go. I know I keep rambling, but. Uh, I'm just doing a very boring job here at the moment, and uh, I need to, need to talk while I'm doing it. So, just thought I'd give you the rundown of the future plans, and um, uh, yeah, future plans are what I plan on doing. So we'll see. Um, well, I think that's all the handrails done anyway. So that's pretty much it. So I've got all the handrails done. The ship is, I would say, complete. But uh, you may have other ideas. So if you want to update this thing, then by all means. For the, like I said, with the SS Norway, I haven't done the full research on what I'm supposed to do uh, in terms of updating. I think the bow needs redesigning. I think a couple of decks need adding as well. But uh, I will do my research and probably won't be the next tutorial video, but it'll probably be sometime in within the next, uh, within the new year anyway. Um, and SS Norway is basically, it's a change of colour as well because the, the, the Norway is primarily blue and white so that's uh, a, cha uh, a color change um, and all the other details as well so that'll probably be like I say within the new year but it won't be the next tutorial but uh, we'll see um, so yeah that uh, that will be as and when that is so I've got to do my research first um, but uh, yeah I can't really I can't really say much more really think about much more um, like I said, though, it's the 8th of December now, so we've got, we've got a few more weeks until the new year, but I don't really want to get involved and start doing um, any more tutorials this side of Christmas. Um, it's quite, as I say, at work, it's quite a stressful time as well, so I don't want to do too much and end up killing myself on here, so we'll, we'll see. Um, anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say, and uh, thanks for watching. Um, Appreciate all the support and uh, advice as well. There are a few assholes out there as well, but uh, <laughs> never mind. But uh, I really do appreciate the advice, the support, the comments, and all things like that. Um, stay tuned for more. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for watching and all that, and subscribing. Um, 
it means a lot and uh, it keeps this channel going so you know uh, how these things are but uh, anyways this is Rich signing off logging off and disappearing if you don't hear from me again until the new year then happy Christmas and all that guff and uh, I shall return with another tutorial soon so uh, bye for now